Okay. Now can anyone hear me? Okay. I remembered uh, the weird setting that sometimes happens in um, in Streamlabs that goes wonky. All right. Uh, well, what a way to start the day. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, here we are. Uh, let me get to the right screen so I can maneuver my dude. And, uh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> uh, I am joined by Leonaris and Tesseract, and we are going to start off in Eisentam, and we're going to go look at Die Zocken Alten. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I really wanted to start off with some builders that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Excellent. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I, I love that so much. I love it so much. We we were talking a lot about this for uh, Unification Day next next Unification Day about really pulling in the worldwide player verse and and just uh, yeah. Oh, okay. They cannot hear you. Okay. No. What? Uh, what setting is that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to bug him, uh, like seriously. All right, let me see. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It would be better if YouTube integrated that. Now, why? I don't even know where to begin to look for this. Is that... Mute, chill, hide names, open chat? I don't know. Let's click on that and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. So um, why don't you guys speak really quickly to see if anyone can hear you? And did anyone hear that out there? Yeah, you're right. Inside Vortex, it usually does take in about 20 minutes or so. Uh and if Enra is still listening, hey, uh, I could use some help because I have no idea how to get them heard. <laughs> Thank you for checking that out. Okay, once again, just give us a second to work this these details out. Audio output device. Hmm. I am wearing a headset, uh, but I have no idea how to do that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does show you up on any device. It's, uh, hmm.
Yeah, he might be at work <laughs> and can't do anything right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if uh, if you guys want to all hop into the Discord channel, I don't see why not, and just hang out and give a listen to what we're talking about. Uh, please feel free to do that. You might get a little bit of one-sided, but I'll try to sort of reiterate what Tesseract and Leonaris might be saying if you can't hear it still. So uh, I think that's what we might do is just start out and anyone who wants to listen in on the Discord channel as well, please feel free to hop in. And uh, let's go ahead and start. So here we are. What is the name? Paula's Paradise 22. And let's see what the name of the system is. Pup 224. All right. Okay. Obviously a, a, a nice uh, Earth-like paradise planet. Looks like blue water, blue skies. Oh, nice. Interactions with the local fauna. I do love the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm in Eisentam. This one right here. Yeah, I had to get out of the ship. Waypoint 11? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I, I was kind of uh, wanting to start uh, sort of in the middle of, because a lot of people are covering like the first one and a lot of people I feel like have seen the first few. So I wanted to, to hit in the middle of, uh, so I'm at the, the second, like Eisenham, Eisentam 10, Paula's Paradise 22 collaborative hosted by D. Zockenauten. Five builders, five bases. Okay. Oops. Oh, I just. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to try a thing with the sound, everyone. Just uh, bear with me a moment. We might have a solution here. So uh, say that again, Leonaris. 
Yes. Add application audio capture. Okay. All right. Add source. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, are we uh are we live? Can everyone hear everyone? You want to say something? <laughs> All right. Hey, can uh, you hear everyone now? <laughs> if everyone just believes, okay, no, they can't. Dang it. Okay. All right. Oh, that's because I popped out of the of the stream for a second. Okay, monitor, monitor and output. Okay. All right. Stream track, let me make sure all of the volumes are up. Discord is checked. Yeah, I was uh, surprised to see that. Application capture, SLM. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see. Properties, okay, that's where we were. Yeah, hmm, all right. Uh, let's see. The, the monitor and output mute output monitor only monitor off okay yeah and they definitely just updated something recently to foobar at all okay We'll just go right back for now. And uh, if we find something along the way, then we'll do that. So, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, give that a shot. Uh, let me hop over to... <laughs> Okay, uh, let me, I appreciate you hopping in and trying to help out. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> right. Okay, so let me see if I can get my friend code up real quick. I will just, this will be the easiest way Cool, cool. All right. Uh, network. My brain is kind of overloaded. Thank you all for, for bearing with me in all these technical difficulties. Yeah. 
There's my friend code Leonaris. All right, and where are you dropping that? And uh, okay, cool. Uh, can you uh, copy that and put it in a? Since I'm looking at that on my phone, can you drop that in the in one of the like the general chat just for ease? And then I can. Uh, do that really quickly. Okay, I'll double check on that in just a second. Of course, of course. Ah, okay. GT24 general chat. Okay. All right. All right, you are added, Leonaris. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, uh, just always got monitor off. Okay, let me just check that real quick. One more setting to try. Okay, let's give that a shot. Nope, it is not doing it. Yeah, it does say beta. <laughs> you, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with there. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's just uh, get back to the stream and go for there. All right, this, uh, I'll just start off with, this is an amazing jump gate. This is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I I caught that stream and uh, where you told him that you caught uh, that you kind of got the idea for it. Yeah, I can hear you, Leonaris. Yeah. Can anyone else hear Leonaris? All right. Okay, cool. Right on. Cool. Thanks, Tesseract. We'll see you later. Okay, 
All right, we're just going to roll with it and uh, just do this. <laughs> All right, welcome in, Noel. Hey, Christy, Inside Vortex. Uh, Leonaris is here, but you can't hear her. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sad too all right let's uh see what we have here this one looks unfinished so this is probably not one of the ones that we want to see but there's a bunch more really close Let's, okay, where do we want to go? <laughs> okay, knock them bow. Let's check that out. All right. This is a lovely planet. I'm not huge on Earth-like, you know, paradise planets. A lot of people love them. Uh, I'm already on Earth, and I like to see something weird. But that's just me. Okay, a lot of this looks kind of unfinished. Yeah, I, uh, I'm guessing a lot of people have started building a new, like some new stuff here. And uh, kind of covered up some of the other bases. All right, where did it go? There we go. All right, I blew right past that one. Where did it go? All right, well, let's check this one out. Hopefully we can get down to actual interesting bases and not new stuff that's incomplete. And if necessary, we can just switch gears and go to another place. Thank you, Leonaris, for contributing through comments. <laughs> Oh, geez, I'm back here. All right. The Arbor. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Oh, wow. All right, Leonaris, I will check for Fonzie's Pyramid. Thanks, Tesseract. All right, this is pretty cool. Just kind of submerged barely into the water. Oh, that has a nice, that has a really nice effect. What am I, is this? Okay, cool. Oh, there's the landing pad down there. Shrunken down regular original landing pad. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, is this the? Is that a platform? Maybe, maybe. Okay. I I do like how it's in this uh, sort of crater right here. Oh. Let's just take the teleporter. Oh, and then there's another teleporter going elsewhere. Where does that go? Oh, okay, it goes over there. All right, we'll go there next. Nice. Ooh, okay. Something tells me there should be more to this. <laughs> oh no, inside vortex. I keep trying to like knock down the sensitivity of of the Streamlab bots and I'm not sure why like I keep I keep messing with settings and uh and stuff like this keeps on happening. I apologize inside vortex. This cool I like the little cabanas and the little rolled up towels. Kind of like you're on a cruise ship or something. Ah, okay. That's what I thought. Nice. Too bad there's not a chair there to rocket us up through the sky. Wow, this is has a whole lot of stairs. <laughs> okay. Well, there's not a whole lot to see here unless it's just not rendering in. So let's uh, go back over here and see if we can check out the other structure. Where did we come in? Here it is. Oh, wow. All right, let's see what we're looking at. Wow, that is just wild. It's like a giant Coliseum kind of vibe. Oh, is that okay? I bet that's the uh, that I bet opens up. Yep, indeed. I love that. Very cool. I uh, I dig it. I've been wanting to mess around with. Uh, one of these irises. I've got some ideas that I want to play around with. I'll see if I can get it to work. I've got a base in particular in mind that I want to go for. But just check that out. We got the the uh, writhing bush. We've got the light fissures pink crystals. Oh, man. Yeah, that's really nice. Check out the back. Ah, Cafe 42. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man. I like the... Uh, I, I, I'm really big on color and how things look as a whole when color is at play and i i like this i wouldn't i wouldn't have put those colors together myself but this is pretty cool 
it, it adds a lot of dimension to it. It's like a really interesting flower arrangement with a with a centerpiece. That's super cool. All right, what else have we got here? All the solar panels and generators or batteries. And this wild lotus structure. Whoa. That is really nice. I'm a, if, you, if you look at a lot of my builds, I'm a big fan of glass. And um, again, back to color and how you can see through the glass. And you can see all of the all of the other panes that go all the way down, and that adds to that depth and texture and a, a, a really lovely color palette. Nice view from up here. Oh yeah, selfie. Adjust the light a little bit. There we go. And we'll get a little selfie there. All right. So let's hop on to the next one. I will see if I can find. Fonzie's Pyramid next. Yeah, it, it really is uh, super nice to check out builds from people all around the world. Like, okay, let's see. Whoa. What can we find? I can't even begin to pronounce that. Uh, all right. House Shimmer Garden. Malcolm Bowell. That's the one that we tried. Shimmer Garden. Come on. Which one are you? All right, let's uh, go over there and see what that is. No. All right, I am not seeing Fonzie's Pyramid. It is just not showing up for me. All right, let's go check out this one that uh, is, is way too much to uh, try to pronounce. All right. Probe detected. Am I carrying any contraband? I can't remember. Ah, okay. They didn't find anything. I usually keep all of my contraband in the freighter because they, they don't do a damn thing about that. All right, let's take a look. Well, there's something, what's that on the horizon? Okay, there's a base there, but I'm not seeing the base computer or anything. And nothing's really loading in beside that circle. 
All right. Let's see. Gruben Hop Snop Strain. <laughs> oh yeah, I will check the uh teleporter there inside Vortex. That's a that's a good idea. Sometimes I get so caught up in uh, trying to find it on the horizon that I forget simple <laughs> things like that. Oh. oh, right away. This is cool. This is a fantastic spiral staircase. A little difficult to get up, if I must say. <laughs> It's a trick staircase. It only works going down, I guess. Okay. Woof. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Little skull about to chomp on a blobby. Oh, there we go. Little nip nip garden with another blob statue. There's like little vignettes in here. Oh, I totally miss this right here. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, lots of lots of little details. Really, like I totally overlooked this. Walked right over it. <laughs> yeah, the the blobs do need more respect. And uh, sp speaking of which, the uh, so. I don't know it, it, how many of you have seen the No Man's High uh, campground planet. And there I have uh, three RVs and a recreation center on my base build there. Uh, and that, that has previously been featured on one of the tours for... Um, distant world tours. Oh, look at that. There we go. Check, check it out. The blob sticker. Nice. All the little mushrooms. Very cool. Oh, that's, that's, this is very ode to blob. So the campground planet uh, for no man's high and my base uh, I have three RVs, and in one of those, all, all of the RVs have a bathroom, uh, but one of those RVs in the bathroom uh, on a little shelf are the three seashells from uh, Demolition Man, the movie. And they're, they're three little silver seashells, and what they actually are are the heads of the blob statues just poking up through the little table. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to do that, uh, but it worked so nicely, the end result. Yeah, it's, it's like probably one of the most infamous gags of Demolition Man, the movie. Oh, that's nice. Like a lot, a lot of people would just like leave the vaulted ceiling, but adding this extra little, oh, that must be the, oh yeah, that's the sunken in area up above but it adds a really nice texture to the ceiling that that just gives it extra dimension. And just like this whole room, 
This whole massive room is dedicated to this little blob dude. Let's see what else we have back here. Oh, ha ha. Look at that, hidden. Hidden back in the recesses. More little blob statues. I love it. Oh, and then let's go down. Oh, this little staircase. Okay. Oh, there we are. Right on. And then this goes back up the other side. Oh, neat. It's like a little guardrail almost with the with the wires, the active wires. This is just too cool. Let's get a look at the outside again. Let's see if there's any other hidden items around the back. Well, there is this staircase around the back. Oh, okay, and that's just the, the back door to the terminus. And then let's go check out the crown of this lovely base. Oh. Oh, wow. Shrunken down sphere generators. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Hey, Spock. Welcome in. How's it going? We are doing part of the tour. We're currently in Eisentam checking out uh, some builds from our German traveler friends. And this is... Ah, ha, I knew there had to be another blob up here. There's so many fun little hidden blobs all throughout this build, and I love it. Okay, right on. So I, I like I like that this is I like that this build is somewhat symmetrical but not exactly symmetrical. I I go for symmetry a lot in in builds, but I also like to throw it off just a little bit sometimes just depends on what I'm doing and the vibe I've got going. So I like this little tower here with the signal booster and then this one over here with all the nip-nip growing out and the solanum. Very nice. This is really well put together. And the whole courtyard, the glitching separator, stair steps down into the water. Oh, this is really, really nice. Hey, Indestructible, how's it going? <laughs> hey, we're doing all right today. We're just uh, checking out Distant World Tours. Having a nice time checking out this blob-centric base on a paradise planet in Eisentam. So we've checked this out pretty well. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Let's uh, check out... Where else do we want to go? Other bases. One of the things that we're looking for here is... Fonzie's Pyramid. And I'm getting a bunch of No Man's High stuff in here. That's also in Eisentam, so I'm having to kind of dig through here. Let's see. So far, I am not seeing, but this gives us a preview of some of the other bases, so. That'll give us, uh, oh yeah, 
Okay, still not seeing. Still not seeing Fonzie's base unless I just completely. Aha! I did miss the Delta stream. Okay. I see what you're doing there. Okay. All right, since we can't see, let me give it one more look over. Since we can't see Fonzie's pyramid. Oh, wait, nope, there it is. But this is Fonzie's Egyptian lover base. I guess that's it. Let's check it out. Let's see if that's it. Sounds like it should have a pyramid there. Oh, excellent. Inside vortex. Thank you. Oh, all right. We've uh, we're inside. Let's get a little light on. Got some small pyramids here on the steps up to the terminus. Got some calcium shrooms flanking that. Dig the pyramid. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it done with the triangles. Very cool. The signal booster down, coming down from the center. Oh, yeah. And check out those red wires on the edges. That really makes it pop nicely. I dig it. Oh, we've got a little hint of blue light coming through. Oh, that must be teleporter. Is that what that is? Oh, cool. Right on. I like it. I love geometric patterns. I love hidden fixtures and bases. There's some blue wire. And let's go up the steps, check that out. Yeah, for sure, inside vortex. The, the the wire work is oh so nice so clean and I, I like the I turn off my light again I like that that's a nice vibe and the ambient sounds in here really cool all right, what have we got here? All right, we've got the Starship statue. Got some weaponry. Got some barrels. Oh, toggle power flow. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, got the little jelly. Got some lockers. <laughs> Super cool. Little storage room. Computer area. Yeah, check check this out. This is a lot. I, I've used this on a number of occasions that popping the the decals on the little computer terminal here it just sets it just under those fun uh grid lines and uh 
it just it just has a nice effect i really like that oh okay self destructible joe <laughs> a bit of a masochist okay all right nothing wrong with that little monitoring station another workstation here expanding globe gadget oh yeah 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 cool 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 all I can think of though is how much of a pain in the ass it must have been to la la uh, to lug all of this stuff up those stairs <laughs> that long staircase like I hope they had some kind of uh, levitation dolly to help them with that all right what do we have here let's uh let's do this real quick because I'm in the way and this is much easier to see everything Oh, a nice view of all the landing pads. Sweet. Look at that. That's an amazing view. Just fantastic. Amino hub. Right on. More cal shrooms. Uh, I like this. I like this little sort of rock garden terrarium vibe. Okay, I was trying to figure out if the I was trying to figure out earlier if the signal booster was coming down or going up and this right here tells me it's going up. That's very cool. All right, let's check out the rest. Oh, we got a hot tub. Um, what do we have here? Let's, oh, is that is that part of the bar? What is that right there? Couches? couch armrest kind of looks like that's what that is oh yeah 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 those are couches <laughs> nice okay i i've done a, a hot tub before but i just put chairs in the corners and this is brilliant this is way cleaner than what I've done before. You have to be careful because that, so I'm gonna get out of there, but that is awesome. All right, I'm gonna do this and go into camera mode. Gotta do a selfie to add in the Discord just killer way way cooler hot tub i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to redo my hot tub <laughs> yeah manual elevator is going in your next uh pyramid build inside vortex uh check out the billiards table wait this almost looks like it's set up for snooker. I love the red wire pool cue here. That is amazing. We've got the red wires in the planter. Oh, yeah. Standing planner, don't mind if I do help myself. 
nice little bar area. And if you're not as familiar with my builds, most of you are, uh, I usually put a, uh, a jelly right in here as a bartender and put the, f the yellow fauna face decal and some kind of hairdo. That's what my that's what I do for my bars. Uh, those are my constant bartenders. This looks like a little spark, sports bar almost. <laughs> Another beautiful view. Look at that. This looks like a break room kitchen area. I like it. Serve up drinks, make some coffee, pop something in the oven, get your uh, space meals to just pop, pop in there. Oh, hey, Had, welcome in. Glad you could join us. How are you doing today? We're just cruising around Eisentam. We're on the, how do you, let me try to not butcher this. It's one of the German planetary builds. Where is that? Die Zockenauten. Checking out their one of their planets. Oh, nice. Nice. I, I do often also like to have some sort of bedroom. This is really cozy. Nicely lit. The colors are fantastic. And I like the extra blankets rolled up at the end. I have not do, done that before, but I will probably steal that because <laughs> that is just nice. And the little trunks at, at the base. I've done trunks before. Not these little ones, though. That's super cool. That's where the magic happens. I'm doing pretty good, Had. I'm uh I had a an injury nearly a month ago on my foot that's been giving me some problems. About to go to a doctor tomorrow and get it looked at again for the second time just to make sure everything's healing up right. Luckily no fractures or anything. Um but yeah, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. This is nice. I like the the small aquariums sort of turned into one larger long aquarium. I like that a lot. Looks like uh looks like a 55 gallon to me. I used to have large aquariums myself. Had a couple of 55s and a uh, few others. Yeah, it really is amazing. Had like putting the distant world tours together is just amazing. You know, the, the so many so, so many bases from around the world get posted on Reddit or Twitter or just in personal discords and and not everyone really gets to see you know the the brilliance that's out there i've seen some just full tilt amazing builds uh in japan like by some of the japanese builders and so they're just mind-blowing but i haven't really seen them anywhere but twitter and i'm hoping that we can 
you know, touch base with some of them uh, as well as other people from around the world and continue this, this idea of bringing everyone together and just really catching the vibes of, of, of everyone out there. All right, let's check out outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really nicely done. Oh, that one's not completely rendered in. I love doing this right here. Sinking the... Let's go check that out. I've got a couple of bases where I've done this. Where you sink the newer landing pad just underneath. And so just this light, the center of the landing pad shows up. And it looks fantastic on those stone floors. Excuse me, floor tiles. Yeah, for sure had like some of the logic builders in Japan are phenomenal. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's shed a little light on this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, I got to get a little closer. It's not quite rendering in all the way. Let's come over here. There we go. Oh, that's just too cool. Oh, yeah. I dig it. Snap that. Oh, wow. I didn't. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even catch that. This red wire. How far up does this go? <laughs> oh, that's a fascinating detail. I love it. Just a, a tall red wire shooting that red beam all the way up. And they didn't skimp on the on the wires, like even on the inside here, like full tilt. Oh, just so nice. The the attention to detail here. I'm loving it. Fantastic. The mix of alloy and the stone. I, I I would not have gone for that. I, I don't normally do, do stuff like that. But that makes me think out, you know, that makes me double rethink that idea. I'd probably change the, the stone tile color. But, uh, yeah, super cool. Brilliant build. Let's see, where's the... All right, let's uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's see where to now. Okay, let's see what looks good. The arbor.
I've got to look really carefully because there's a lot of no man's high bases mixed in here. Okay, let's see. Ah. Schrebergarten. Yeah, there's a bunch of those on this planet. Let's go check this one out. Let's see what we got here. And if you're just joining us, we're cruising through Eisentam, checking out bases submitted for the Distant World Tours from our German friends at uh, D. Zakonauten. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's get some light going nice alloy structure okay this is cool A sized up light fissure just busting through the base terminus oh there it goes oh, oh okay it only comes on in proximity. Interesting. This is a fascinating build. Very, as they would say, open concept. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see. Let's head this way. Let's see what we've got going on. Oh, wait. Okay. So we're also right next to this trading outpost. Oh, I dig the colors of the... Uh, Landing pads, original landing pad type. Not a whole lot to this one, but what there is here is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, okay, there's more. All right. Oh, wait, that's back where we were over there. Okay, not a whole lot over here, but that's a, a nice way to hop over here real quick. Let's see what ships do we have here. I always like to look at the ships. All right. I do I am a fan of explorers. I do like the the tie wing. The I prefer the double tie wing. I'm not as big of a fan of these uh offset like the non-symmetrical explorers, but sometimes they're pretty cool. Like th these uh, these though, they always strike me as like a little uh gladiator type. We've got the little short sword in one hand and a shield in the other that's gonna crack me up all right let's hop back and let's go down the stairs all right let's see what else we can see not a lot to this one but it's pretty nice
Okay. All right, let's go to another Schrebergarten. I'm loving the creativity on some of these bases. size battery oh yeah and that's fully charged a little pedestal okay this one's kind of sparse I wonder if they're still in the process of building although that's pretty sweet Aha. Looks like uh, they're all big fans of proximity switches. Let's see what we have over here. Ah, yeah, okay. Back to another. That's a pretty good long distance line of sight to travel. Nicely done. All right, not a whole lot here. So let's uh, mosey on along. I think what we might do even is since we're not finding a whole lot else here, we might uh, go to another system. Let's go. Let's see what we've got here. Let me see. Checking my bases. We're going to find the ones next to portals. Hmm. Okay. I think we will run over okay ah we're gonna head back over here and we're gonna check out some more Eisentam bases Okay. All right. Still in Eisentam. Hey, Dead Parrot. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, I was just here earlier. And now I got to do this. I still feel like there should be a recipe that we can learn 
so that we just have like one like cylinder recharge thing and we don't have to do all of this but it'll take a whole bunch of resources all at once and we just plug in that just like the the um, what do you call it um, like the the warp battery thing that we that we have okay let's see where we go in all right we're going to check out let's check out Kuttner's treetops let's see I always get uh, overly cautious that I'm going to put in the wrong glyphs. I always end up doing these really slowly most of the time. All right. All right, let's go check it out. Dive right in. And uh, while you're all here, if you don't mind hopping over and smacking the like button, I'd greatly appreciate that. Helps me get seen more often by other people. Here we go. All right. Knockbur system. Extreme storm. Wait. Oh, are we not in the right place? Are we not in the right place? Oh, no. No. I don't think we're in the right place. I don't see a base around. And it's saying I'm the first person here. Oh, but there's a there's a cool dragonfly. Might uh, need to come back here again. So we're going to take a picture. All right. I don't know. I must have dialed the wrong address. Yeah, it was a pretty nice flyby there, dead parrot. Hmm. I'm in Eisentam. Oh, no, I was in Euclid. I forgot. I was in Euclid. I went to the wrong place. Base. All right. So since we're in Euclid and we're at a portal and
and we're gonna we're gonna go check out all right we're gonna go check out this space activate the portal that looked different okay um, all right let's do this And uh, if any of you were around at the beginning of my stream, thank you so much for for uh, bearing with all of the technical difficulties that that lasted far far too long. I super appreciate that. probably more technical difficulties than I've had in any other stream before. Of course, my first one was much like that. All right, I believe that's the right, right one. I appreciate it, Dead Parrot. Thank you. Say hello to Mrs. Parrot. Okay, now we're definitely discovered by had. All right, let's uh, let's check this out. Oh, nice looking planet. <laughs> yep, indeed. It uh, showed up on my on my phone screen, and I was like, "Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's check it out." All right, already I'm noticing these off-kilter floor panels that seem very intentional. I like the landing pad down at the base with the build up up top. Very cool. Oh, those are positively massive shrooms. All right, let's take let's check it out. Oh, nice. I love the the how things are like falling apart. Definitely some old ruins. Like just check that out. Very cool work.
And again, as I've said before, uh, if you were here earlier, I was talking about color. Color is a really big thing for me. And I, I, the vast majority of the time, the, the colors that I use are very intentionally planned out and how they flow is uh, very purposeful for the design. And this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. And we'll do a little full length pick. Let's change this angle a little bit. Just a little bit more. There we go. Now we're getting it. Yeah, like the fact that the, the colors are this bright showing during the daytime just blows me away. This is, I love to see this kind of thing. And the balance of light and how it flows through the whole build. I love it. Get rid of that terrible vignette. Just magnificent. All right, let's do some exploring. Ah, ha, 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 ha. the way the the way the way that it's falling apart just. Very cool. Has some slight Escher vibes. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> Falling through everywhere. Uh-oh, stuck a little bit. Okay, stop. Most of the time I love rocket boots, but uh, sometimes they're just terrible. Oh yeah, I'll definitely check it out for the for the colors at night too. Just wanted to see how walkable this is. How much of it is still Oh wow. Okay, you've got the little skulls. Got the little sodium lamps. So is it the sodium lamps that are making the pink color? That's kind of unusual. Very cool. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So did you did you build it all the way first and then just slowly pull it apart? Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. The hidden lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, yeah. And the vines. Oh, whoa. So cool. And I and I love how some of them are in are in mid fall. Or like they fell in a way that's just barely standing and is super precarious. Oh, this is too good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost missed this. Oh, right on. And then the yellow light. What do you have for the yellow light? Ah, sphere generator. Should have known. Nice. Nicely done. All right, let's uh, check this out. Random canisters. The just like, ha ha ha. Oops. <laughs> Fell through that tiny little crack. <laughs> Some dishes. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Now here is the uh, base puzzle part that I was reading about a moment ago. Toggle for power flow. Let me take a look at everything. Oh yeah, I do have, th this is super cool. Now I just need to, uh, sort out this riddle like this is this is just fantastic all the way around wait miss that on the wall first part of the address Hmm. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. We've got the light boxes. More light boxes and light floors, each with the symbols of the three major factions. Hmm. Okay, I just wanted to take it all in and just really, 
<laughs> okay, that was completely unexpected. All right, so what do we do here? Okay. I see. Go back the other way. No, not back in the corner. There we go. Off you go. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of there. Uh oh. Come on. So close. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, come on. Get in the hole. The hole is your home. Don't you want to go to your home? Okay, gentle, gentle. There we go. All right. Okay, all three of them are showing. Okay, all three are in their places. Okay, so where? So this is the uh, first part. Oh, the door is open. Which door is open? Oh, that door is open. Okay, this door is open. Ah, clever. Okay, that's the first part of the address for the after party planet. There we go. So that and the other two bases that I'm guessing will be revealed at a later time will have the other um, parts of the address. That is very cool. I like it. That's a lot of fun. And I like using the, the tapestry as a hidden passageway. That is super cool. Helping it reset. Haha. <laughs> nice. That's awesome, Had. That that is super cool. All right, it is dark. Oh, and I love the planet. For the longest time, I found that this type of planet, the teal glowing grass was the absolute hardest to find. It was so difficult to find this kind of planet. And, uh, but suddenly, like, 
lately, I've been finding them left and right. Like I have found so many. I even found one system that had two teal bioluminescent grass planets just there in the same system. Blew my mind. I've got plans for bases on both of them. This is just stunningly beautiful right here. Just take a look at that. All right, I'm going to mess around with the time and see how that changes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, take a look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Get a shot of that. And let's change the time again. A lot of times I'll take the same photo a bunch of different times, just all the different times of day that look really interesting. And then I decide which ones that I like the best. Oh, that is super cool. Oh, hey, Delta One. Hey, Zawa. Yeah, Escher definitely comes to mind there. I, I said that uh, earlier, in fact. <laughs> very, very similar vibes. Uh, take a look at that. Love how the light changes over time. Just amazing yeah right now we're checking out had's plant had's base uh in euclid for distant world tours and uh it's got a puzzle base it's a puzzle base to boot and it reveals part of the address for the after party planet and uh, you can find, uh, I, uh, I had to restart my stream earlier, but the original stream had all of the links to Distant World Tours website and to the Distant World Tours um, Discord. Also has uh, No Man's High Discord and my Discord. Feel free to join any of those you like. And uh, yeah, this is just like, I can't get enough of looking at this and I can't wait to edit these pictures later. That's going to be a lot of fun checking that out. Just fantastic. I love it. Really great work there had. All right. Let's see here. Well, actually, I've been going for about just about two hours, and I think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, it's been fun checking these out, and I definitely want to do this again. Haha, <laughs> check it out. www.hadsh. Sweet. But yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this. I want to do it again, and hopefully with less technical difficulties. Uh, checking out some more bases. And checking out just there's just so much on this tour 
Uh, I unfortunately did not have the ability to uh, to get anything together for this tour, but some of the smaller tours, I will definitely have some stuff going. But thanks for joining, popping in, hitting the like button, and subscribing. And I hope you all have a great day, night, afternoon, whatever it is for you. And I will see you again later. And uh, thanks again. Bye.